Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle today with an amazing puzzle but first of all I wish every one of you a happy new year 2022 and one of my personal good resolutions for this year is to manage it somehow I have no detailed plan but manage it somehow to clear my backlog faster than it actually grows. This will be definitely a tricky challenge because I'm only solving puzzles actually on video, which makes it very tricky to get that managed. And the first puzzle of 2022 is this puzzle here. A, I expect it to be a very good one, especially on how it looks like. This must be a great puzzle out of my point of view. It's made and designed by Engineer Bruns. You've seen a puzzle of him before here on my channel. It was this one, the Machinist's Stash I reviewed, I don't know, I think like one and a half years back. This one was designed by Marcel Gillen, but machined by Engineer Bruns. And it actually, from quality point of view, is definitely higher quality than the original puzzle. Flawless to execute, but kept the initial solution and design, of course. Very cool puzzle. If you haven't seen this, check it out. I'll put your link in the video description. And this is his latest puzzle, the Metal Barrel Puzzle. I mean, this, this name is quite suitable. Looks very simplistic, but you can see, same as on the other puzzle, this thing is really high quality. There are no scratches on the puzzle, nothing at all. You only can see the machining. Overall, a very cool, simplistic design. Very, very well made, I can only say it again. And the task is to free a coin that's hidden in the inside. And you can basically not do too much on this puzzle. So you have a lid up here, which is fixed and cannot be rotated. It cannot be moved in any direction, just slightly. And you can hear from the inside, there's a lot of noise coming in from the inside. So it will be one of these puzzles where you need to figure out how a hidden mechanism inside will work. I hope this will not make it too difficult. However, uh, Brands is rating this puzzle with a level 10 on their difficulty rating scale. So the highest difficulty rating. And I already made my notebook ready to take some notes, draw some pictures to understand how this works. If I find this puzzle somewhere on sale, I will put your link in the video description. So that's it pretty much about this puzzle. Not much more to discover or to see. And after spoiling break you're gonna see the first video of 2022 the metal barrel puzzle by engineer bronze let's see what do we have here we have this lid this is locked and we have also some parts going up and down and there are definitely multiple parts as you can hear it's not just a single part Oh, and I could slightly twist it. Okay, okay, here we go. So, when I, ooh, whoa, it already opens up. Whoa, what is this? You see this? <laughs> oh man, this looked so cool. You see this? There are plenty of pins. How many are there? <laughs> Seven, eight, nine pins overall, and they dropping all down when I have this puzzle in upright condition. So it means they drop in in these little holes here. Turn it back, it goes back in. Whew. What is this? I can't screw anything when they are in. And when they're out, I can rotate. Can I see anything in those holes? Like that the pins go in further in some of the holes than in others let's see if i can see something but it's very difficult to see for me i can't see it at the moment and here it gets like stuck and can i still hear something yes there is something inside like a ball or something i need to understand the difference of the noise so this noise here is mainly coming from the pins while this noise the lower frequency noise is coming here from the rear. And I'm not sure if there's something in addition or if the noise, the other noise is also the pins. Oh, this is, this is difficult. Let's check if all the pins are the same length. Yes, they look all as they are the same length. Or well, let's close it completely. Now the pins can't drop. And the ball is still there. I hope I do not need to combine a specific pin with a specific hole. This would be horrible. <laughs> okay. Um what could what are these pins for? 
Okay, and why are so many? I think probably it would make no difference, at least from my current point of view, it would make no difference if we have only one pin or nine pins. I would expect they are only, for some reason, there to lock the puzzle in place when it's held upright. Maybe it's interacting here, not interacting directly, but somehow connected to this ball mechanism on the on the bottom, because this maybe will act opposite. Noise changes depending on when I screw it in. It sounds like this. And then screw it out. It sounds like this. So a bit higher frequency, so probably less space to move. Yeah, the compartment where it's in getting smaller and this will change the noise. Oh, there is something in addition. You can hear it rolling. You hear this? There is an additional smaller steel ball inside because this cannot be created by the big ball. This is definitely something in addition. So I would assume there are two bolts down here, big one and a small one, and the pins up here. Just to summarize, let's see, got the lid up here, and here we got those pins. And we have a threaded bolt or something, which goes in the bottom side. It's basically not prevented from getting screwed off by the pins, because I can't screw it further even if the pins are in. So here it's blocked, and I think it's blocked because inside here, down here, there is a locking mechanism which looks like uh, the following. There is a ball running here, you know? So a very simple locking mechanism. And as soon as I screw it out, there is some free play between the channels. But as soon as I screw it out at one point, it will start clamping the ball. The noise disappears, you know, the ball can't move and roll around anymore. And, and this is the big mystery is, where does the ball need to go? So there must be a cavity or something somewhere inside where the ball can go that I can continue to further screw it out. And the big question is down here, there is a big ball. I can only hear, I have no idea what this is doing at the moment, but there is something in addition down here, either a ball or a pin, maybe a, also a pin. It's also locking the puzzle. So means that either the small ball over here or the big ball over here can lock the puzzle from being open independently. Okay, one thing I do not know at this point is when I have the puzzle upright, would I be able now to unscrew it? Because I can't, I can't try it because those pins, as soon as I will screw, they will drop in, you know, like, oh, they are in and the puzzle will be locked. In this condition, I can't hear the big ball anymore. So it's probably somehow clamped down here. Or what could also be, and this just came to my mind, is that the big ball, there is supposed to be a coin inside, and the big ball I can hear, and it's rolling around, you know, moving up and down and so on. It's basically the coin moving inside. Yeah, this makes also sense, left, right, so that the coin is down here, kept in place, and it's only locked by this single ball. The big question is, and that remains now, is how to get this ball into a position to be able to rotate the puzzle. I'm pretty sure this is here basically right. Usually, yeah, usually on this type of locking mechanisms, you have somewhere a cavity or a ho a ho like a hole or something either on the inside or on the outside i'm pretty sure the this this hole or whatever or notch or whatever that this need to be will be on the inner core and the reason is when i unscrew the puzzle here like so and i move it around like this i can't hear anywhere that this ball is somewhere rolling above a a hole, a cavity, or something that's uneven where the ball can get inside. So I would assume it's in the inner core. So and this 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 is telling me. Oh, I assume I somehow need to have this here in the right place somewhere. This does definitely not work. I just can't hear it, you know. Whoa. 
Whoa, it's not blocked anymore. Woo! <laughs> uh, what? Did I solve it? Whoa, I think, no, it's blocked again. All the pins came out. Now let me see if I, you know, when I unscrewed like so, Oh, now I can unscrew it. What, what's going on? Really is me, Mr. Puzzle? <laughs> I still can't hear it, and it's, but it's... Yeah, now it's, it's still the ball, eh? Now I can't hear the ball anymore. Or... Yes! Yes! What is going on here? <laughs> this is the coin, Skynet coin. Okay. <laughs> Skynet. Um, and this is pretty close actually to how I draw it. So, basically like so, you know? Not sure what this is, this notch here is for. When I understood it, I will come back and explain in detail how this amazing puzzle works because I'm, ah, I made it. It's a super cool puzzle, definitely. But now it's time to understand how it works. Okay, here we go again. Um, it took me some time to understand how this really works in detail. It's, even if you can see it, it's really difficult to understand how the ball need to be in what position at what time to open the thing up. Very clever mechanism. I also draw here these step-by-step um, -step pictures that you can follow my description, what I'm doing. We are currently here in this lock condition. So we have here the outer cylinder on the top and the inner cylinder on the bottom side, the profile, the two profiles. And the ball is right now in a cavity over here, okay? So means it can move. And um, first thing you need to understand, and this is not, uh, drawn here is of course you need to turn it upside down that all the pins in the lid will drop and then you can screw it until here and if you reach this position right now the locked position where it's blocked you actually or i actually screwed the inner core oh in this direction and clamped the ball over here in this position right here between the inner cylinder this piece here and the outer cylinder. For step one, and this is now very clever, and this probably cost me the most amount of time, is I need to get it in a certain position, in like, I, th I think in this position. And then if I slightly tilt it, the ball will move from this cavity over here due to this cutout in the outer cylinder, it will be able to move around this little edge here into this cavity, okay? So, and this is only possible in a certain position because of this cavity need to be aligned with this one here. Then there is enough space that the ball can transfer from over here to over here. I will slightly tilt it before the pins will drop out, like so, just slightly, and then I will just screw it in. And at a certain point, you hear the ball drop from one cavity into the other cavity. Here it is, okay? Now the ball is down here in this cavity. You see, I can screw it out all the way until the pins would drop out. And now it gets stuck a second time. This happens because, and if I screw the lower piece all the way out, the ball in this cavity will again be over here, but this little notch here will clamp the ball between the inner and outer sleeve, and it will still be not possible to open up. You can use this, this um, circle here as a mark. You can screw it in because this is marking the position of the hole in the inner cylinder. So right now we are here in this step number two position over here. And um, pointing with this hole downwards. And then I just need to twist the puzzle. Here we go. You heard the sound. Now it's dropped inside of the hole. And now it's important that you only twist this, the side, not this one, but this one without the marking and then you will be able to screw it completely out and solve the puzzle. Very brilliant mechanism. 
Very, very, very clever. This two-step solution, I like this very much. It's a cool variation of this locking mechanism. Haven't seen this before. Excellently crafted and designed. Engineer Bruns, another cool design. And I have to tell you, your manufacturing is really top notch. Can't be better, it's perfect. No scratches, no marks, nothing, just perfect. Highly recommendable from puzzling point of view and from quality point of view. I would also appreciate your feedback, Engineer Bruns, if I explained it in the right way, the locking mechanism, if my understanding is right, how this should actually be done and how this works. Regarding difficulty, I would rate this puzzle with a four out of a maximum of five on my personal difficulty rating scale. Definitely a difficult one, can also drive a lot of people crazy, I think. And if you like this puzzle and this review, let Engineer Browns and myself know in the comments. And if you would like to see more videos in the future, definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and get notified. A lot of cool puzzles will come up soon. And that's it for today. Until next time, keep on puzzling.